Guys, massive layoffs are coming in 2024. Well, more than a thousand Pizza Hut delivery drivers will soon be out of a job here in Southern California. News of these layoffs is certainly catching many customers off guard here at this location in North Hollywood. They are losing all four of their delivery drivers effective in just a couple of weeks. We are talking about tens of thousands of job cuts. Right after signing General Union contracts, GM, Chrysler, Jeep and Ford have all announced layoff. Nike just announced a $2 billion cost-cutting plan. And let's not forget Google, because they are ready to lay off 30,000 employees in the sell ad unit in favor of AI ad tech. If you love pizza like me and you live in California, there might not be a driver to deliver your pizza. That's because California Pizza Hut franchises are about to lay off more than 1,100 delivery drivers ahead of a wage hike that will happen in February. Now, you might be asking, is your job at risk? In this video, I will tell you what you can do if you don't want to lose your job so that you can still feed your family. So, you are watching the Financial Coffee Channel? Let's get into this. So, mass layoffs are in store for 2024 and it might be end up affecting nearly half of companies. Almost 4 in 10 companies have said that they will have layoffs in 2024. And more than half of those companies also say that they plan to implement a hiring freeze in 2024. They are blaming everything on artificial intelligence or AI. This news comes as Google is getting ready to lay off 30,000 employees in their ad sales unit in favor of AI ad tech. In 2024, huge number of the workforce will be let go as well. Now, 22% of the company who plan to lay off in the new year say that 30% of the staff should be fired. And how do you know if you could lose your job? Well, if your job can be easily replaced by AI, it might be time to worry about your job. For example, Google is planning to let go of 30,000 employees from its ad sale unit. Now pay attention guys, this after its recent advancement in artificial intelligence, said the president of the Americas and Global Partner last week. So AI will leave many people jobless. But guys, I don't know if you know this, but the economy is tanking right now. The economy is doing so bad that the Fed chairman is already thinking about cutting interest rate in order to fight inflation. Still, the overall inflation number is positive. Experts say if it keeps heading in the right direction, the Fed could start cutting interest rates by springers. Housing prices are one troubling spot. Americans are paying 6.9% more in rent this year, and car insurance bills are surging, up more than 19% due to higher car prices, repair, and medical costs. And like higher costs have already taken a toll on the food industry. Business Insider reports some manufacturers are tweaking their recipes to save money, from crackers to chocolate bars, textures and tastes are slightly changing due to cost-cutting moves. But not all the news is good. When you take out the cost of gas and food, so-called core inflation is up 4% over last year at this time. Doves fly at the Fed as officials signal they are done raising rates, instead raising the number of rate cuts they see next year. In 2025, they see an additional four rate cuts, one down from September, and two more in 2026. Now, this job cut will not only happen in the tech sector. Why? Because hundreds of Pizza California Hurt franchise announced cut in their delivery services, laying off more than 1,100 drivers. They are doing so to offset California mandated statewide minimum wage increase for fast food workers. The layoff will go into effect as soon as February. Just week before the state, $20 minimum wage for all fast food workers are set to go into effect. California's minimum wage is currently at $15.50 for all workers. Statewide, it is said that the increase will affect more than half a million workers. But some loyal customers say these new cuts are leaving them with a bad taste. Now we have to be our own delivery driver, I guess. Rogelia Salinas came to pick up pizza for her grandkids at this Pizza Hut in North Hollywood as the delivery wait was too long. But after learning it's being canceled altogether, she's disappointed. It's sad. It's very sad and disappointing that these big companies, you know, that are franchised are laying off the working middle class people that are trying to survive. So I think when there is a minimum wage increase, they look for a way to mitigate costs, you know, cut, cut expenses. The minimum wage for most fast food workers in California is increasing to $20 an hour in April. So the timing of the layoffs isn't sitting well with many. So if you love pizza and you live in California, there might not be a driver to deliver you the favorite pizza. But to be honest with you guys, I think it's very heartless to lay people off during the holidays. Don't get me wrong. 
Nobody wants to be laid off or lose a job. As a matter of fact, there is never the perfect time to lose a job. But why do these companies always lay people off around the end of the year or during the holiday season? That's very heartless if you ask my opinion. Construction and software companies are projected to have the most layoff in the next years at 66% and 65% respectively. Meanwhile, information, retail, finance and insurance companies will likely lose anywhere from 38% to 44%. So in other words, if you work in construction or software, your job is really at risk. I would really advise you to start looking for another job right now, even if you already have another job. Same goes if you work in retail, finance, insurance, and information. You should be worried. AI will make a lot of people lose their job. So always ask yourself the following question. Can AI replace me? A few weeks ago, Sport Illustrated fired a CEO because it was alleged that the sport magazine was using AI to write stories. As we told you Tuesday, the website Futurism reports, Sports Illustrated published articles by fake AI-generated authors. Authors like Drew Ortiz, who, according to a since-deleted bio, grew up in a farmhouse. Or there's Sora Tanaka, who loves to try different foods and drinks. The problem is, both their photos were repeatedly, reportedly found on a website that sells AI-generated headshots. How people found out about it, I don't know, but people were mad. So think about this for a moment. If Sport Illustrated was allegedly using AI to write stories, I can bet you that there are a lot of other companies doing the same, but they just haven't been caught yet. So if you are a writer, you better watch out because AI might take your job. AI has become so good that Google is planning to lay off 30,000 employees from its ad sale unit. Now check this out. The new innovation can automatically suggest and create ads for customers requiring basically no human intervention. This development renders the ad sales unit essentially redundant, in simple words, useless. And this is crazy. And guys, that is not all. Citigroup, the worldwide bank, is also playing huge job cuts. Probably one of the biggest job cuts that the bank has seen in about 20 years. According to CNBC, they are supposed to cut at least 10% of their workforce. Now let's do the math. City has 240,000 employees. It means that they are about to lay off about 24,000 employees. That's huge. Let's not forget about Nike. The company said that it's expecting to make job cuts. Nike didn't say how many people they will fire or lay off. But they expect to book somewhere between 400 million and 450 million in pre-tax charges, mostly in its fiscal third quarter and mostly related to its severance cost. But guys, I'm not telling you all this so that you can live in fear of losing your job. Not at all. I am only telling you this so that you can be prepared in case, God forbid, you are laid off. That way, you already have a plan and you know what to do next. Because to be honest with you, the most difficult part when you lose your job is not when you lose your job. The most stressful part and the most difficult part is bounce back and find another job as quickly as possible. And if you are worried about losing your job, I found 8 free high paying certifications for a remote job in 2024 and how much they pay. To find out more, click on the video that I pay on the screen right now. That is all for today. Thank you for watching the Financial Coffee Channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.